Rafael Nadal may not be the player he once was, but if history has taught us anything, it's that you can't write off Rafa. Rewind to 2016, and after a series of injuries and poor form, Nadal had failed to make it to the quarter-final stage of a Grand Slam for the first time since 2004. The following year, Nadal made the biggest choice of his career to split with longtime coach Uncle Tony, choosing instead to work with fellow Mallorcan and former ATP player himself, Carlos Moya. In the pair's first year together, Nadal made the Australian Open final, before taking it a step further to win both Roland Garros and the US Open. Since working with Moya, Nadal has won six of his 20 Grand Slams, and until 2021, had maintained the impressive record of winning at least one Grand Slam a year together. The main area of improvement was the Spaniard's serve. In the 2016 season, Nadal was winning 68% of points behind his first serve, the lowest it had been since 2004. But at the end of the 2017 season, this had jumped to 74% and was a huge contributing factor in the Spaniard successfully reclaiming his spot as world number one doing so for the first time since 2014. So what had changed? Besides shaking off injury, Nadal had unveiled a new look first serve at the start of the 2017 season. With an elongated take back and what appeared to be a more relaxed grip, Nadal's serve looked more efficient. The racket armor dropped in preparation, making the service motion more shoulder over shoulder compared with shoulder around shoulder. The effect was impressive, now a flatter serve, the ball carried more speed through the air and importantly maintained that speed even after contacting the ground. Using data taken from Nadal's Masters events, we can see the effect it had on his T-serve. But not only did the changes benefit the T-service direction, a flatter serve would also aid a left-hander's effectiveness at hitting the wide serve from juice, as the ball would continue to move away from the returner rather than swinging in towards them. And for the last five years, this has been Nadal's most effective first serve direction, using it with increasing frequency. From 2012 to 2016, he was serving wide on juice just 30% of the time. Since 2016, this has increased to 47%, making his service direction not only much harder to read, but in turn, he's changed a potential weakness into a strength, testament to his consistent desire to improve. The 2021 season ended for Rafa, much like his 2016 campaign, but he came back stronger then, and it'll be fascinating to see what he can do in 2022.